Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Mindworks Technologies Limited, Greg Pandura. How are you doing today, Greg? I'm doing very well, Rich. Thank you. Excited to have you on the show. And congratulations, you guys have been doing quite well. And we've seen some price appreciation on the stock since we've been talking. And that's always nice to see. And my first question, Greg, is um, can you tell us a little bit about your most exciting news over the last few months? Well, over the last few few months, or we, we've, we've been doing a lot, actually, Rich. Uh, uh, actually, from there into where we're going for the next couple of months, we'll... The, we'll be doing a basically, a, for sake of a, a better term, uh, completing the, the spin out transaction, which some people have heard about, of our Spanish a- asset, our iron ore asset in Spain. Uh, yeah, that's that's going into a into a new co, and uh, it'll, it'll be called Iron Bull Mining, and uh, it's uh, we're pretty excited about that. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's going to be led by a very senior mine mining team, and uh, all all shareholders of Mine Works are going to partake into that in in a in a tax free distribution uh, concept on a, based upon a ratio of how many Mine Works shares they own, which will determine how many iron uh, iron bull shares they get. But uh, it'll be a huge bonus for our shareholders. And uh, people will be available to be partaken into that transaction until the latter part of uh, June. So, if you anytime you become a new mine and mine work shareholder by then, you'll be able to partake in this spin out transaction. Wow, that sounds uh, huge! Very exciting. Yeah, we're also we're also going to be completing our our I'll call it our corporate rebrand. Uh, uh, basically. Uh, uh, what we're doing there is evolving from a, a mining issuer to a technology issuer, and that's that's pretty pretty exciting for us. Uh, uh, we, we, we're going to be transitioning ourselves into a clean tech uh, uh, metal processing company, and uh, uh, that's exciting. We want to be on the radar of of institutional uh, funds that are geared into uh, green funds, environmental funds, and uh, I, I think we'll be. Uh, we'll become a crowd favorite. Yeah, well, I know that you guys have done quite well and you've become a favorite for our community. Can you go through how the pilot plant operations is coming along? Uh, well, it's, it's coming along well. We, we, we had some uh, permitting delays in Tennessee, uh, but anyway, we just received our final permits a couple of days ago, uh, equipment, building, everything, and uh, we're, we're uh, proceeding along. Uh, we're uh, our, our first stage of business. There is 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 te- testing the systems and the new components, and the equipment to make sure they're all up to spec. We don't anticipate any any issues there whatsoever. Uh, then we begin the process optimization phase of, of the pilot plant. Um, what that sort of means, uh, uh, the pilot plant was initially in Vancouver, and uh, uh, it. The proof of concept of our, of our te- technology was proven in Vancouver. Uh, so we sent our pilot plant down to Tennessee where our joint venture partner is in Tennessee, uh, Davis Recycling, a very large recycler in ten- Tennessee. And uh, uh, the, the, the whole purpose of what's going on in, into ten- Tennessee will be uh, optimizing the, the whole system for commercialization. So. Uh, and that's that's uh, coming along fine. There'll be a, a continuation of there into our scale up from what we're doing pilot plant size to our ten ton per day commercial size. So we'll we will have the data we need uh, by the by the very early summer, if not sooner, uh, for what we want to uh, need to uh, to continue with our design for our commercial plant. 
Wow, it sounds like you guys are really busy. <laughs> Mineworks recently announced that it sold its Seahagen iron ore project. Can you tell us what that means for the company and its shareholders? Sure. The, uh, uh, I, I talked about it a little bit, uh, but uh, that iron ore project is called uh, the Seahagen Pro Project. Uh, that will be a tax-free distribution to our existing shareholders and to our new shareholders until uh, the latter part of June. Uh, they'll be part of this uh, uh, tra tra transaction. Um, and as I said before, Iron Bull is, is a, it's an experienced uh, mining team globally. Uh, they, they, they've been involved in, in mining projects uh, all, all, all over the world. Wow. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're bringing a, 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 I think a pretty high value copper project to, to, to Iron Bull Mining. It'll be part of, of, the, of the transaction. And uh, the, it, it's in Namibia in Africa, it's right beside South, South Africa. And uh, uh, their, their whole focus is looking at uh, short term revenue producing properties. Uh, we believe our Sahigan iron ore is going to be one of those, and uh, they they believe that their copper project is going to be one of those as well. So, wow. pretty pretty exciting for our shareholders. Absolutely. Can you tell us how much money Mineworks has in the bank right now, and if you need to raise any money in the future or in the near future? Uh, yeah, we we we've, we've, uh, we have about a half million. Uh, we are we are looking at a, a private placement uh, uh, relatively soon, and that's geared for for our, our commercial plant as we go go into that. So uh, a little more details on that will be go, going out. I'd say uh, latter part of spring, and uh, and that that'll be our, our focus for the construction of the of the commercial plant. Have issues with inflation affected mine works at all? Uh, well, I mean, it, it's affecting everybody, but uh, there, there's, uh, we've got some price increases, uh, uh, obviously, just like any, anybody else. Uh, so, you know, the, these days you've got uh, inflation uh, factors, we've got uh, uh, some, some factors in the area of supply, supply chain management, uh, wh whether it be timeline issues or, or whatever. Uh, we're... We had some of those in the past because we had some of our equipment uh, man manufactured offshore, but we're, we're focusing all, all our equipment now to be to be in all the components to be produced in the U.S. So uh, that's going to uh, positively affect that in, in quite a few different different ways. Is there anything else you would want shareholders to know about Mineworks today? Uh, well. You know, really, a lot of a lot of people aren't really uh, aware of, of what the of what the uh, the size of the catalytic market is, and I, I think it's important. Uh, uh, we we focused on the on the diesel catalytic converter market for, and there's reasons why we we did that, which I won't go into now. But it it puts us in a very excellent position to to capture that that more marketplace, but. People did just think of automobiles and light trucks as the as the catalytic converters. But that, that's that's only part of, of, of the market. Uh, there's also commercial trucking. There's there's off off road vehicles, uh, but there's also industrial applications. Two of them. Uh, one being uh, we call it yellow metal. And uh, if you if you can think of the caterpillar cats, those big hunks of equipment that are yellow, it, that's the whole industry with, within it within itself. So you have those, you have uh, uh, um, generators, you have a lot of a lot of off off road stationary uh, pieces of equipment that are run by by catalytic converters. Uh, you have industrial plants. Uh, think of you see a smokestack, there's probably an industrial uh, catalytic converter associated with that. So it, it's a it's a, a huge market. Um, Eighty five percent of the of the actually world supply of tantalum, eighty five percent is used annually for just for catalytic converters. And uh, in the U S. alone, it's about two million ounces. And uh, palladium is twenty three hundred dollars an ounce. 
So that's a $5 billion a year industry, but uh, only 30% of that is recovered. So uh, approximately three and a half billion dollars is lost annually uh, going into the ground in land, landfills or, or whatever. So it, it's, you know, it's a huge, huge market. Uh, we, we believe that we have, well, we know we have little competition. Uh, we'll be the first to market and uh, we have great commercial plant economics. So I, I, I think we are positioned for, for a home run. I'm, I'm excited about it. Greg, finally, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Mineworks? Uh, well, I mean, they can go on our web website. Uh, they can uh, leave an email there uh, or else they can call me directly. And I'm more than happy to talk to our shareholders. And uh, uh, so either email or phone call and we're, we'll, we'll be back in touch very, very shortly. Fantastic. Now I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information, education and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. I'm an investor. Our community has been built by investors for investors. I believe everybody should be putting Mineworks Technologies Limited on their radar, on their watch list. The symbol in Canada is MWX. The symbol in America is MWXRF. I've been speaking to the CEO, Greg Pandura. Thank you for joining us today, Greg. Thank you, Rich. Uh, my pleasure being here. Always a pleasure. And if you guys are not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you winners, just like Mineworks Technologies Limited, which is up since we brought you at first. And I must let you guys know, if you like these videos, smash the like button, comment on the video, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with the CEO of Mineworks Technologies Limited, Greg Pandora, saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.